David Patrick. And I met him and I met him through this open source project that I was like working on like four years ago. And I fell awkwardly from the maintainer team, but it was one of my main open source projects back in the day. And the, and the thing is called Task Warrior. Who has heard about Task Warrior before? Yeah. Ah, damn. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I guess there's like 70% of people didn't hear about Task Warrior. So Task Warrior is a CLI to-do list manager. And really, it's just like a list of tasks. But also, it's much more. It has due dates, there's priorities, it has tags, projects, dependencies, and syncing. So, you know, it works on your command line, just write task, and in order to do that, you have to first install it. So, you can install it using your package manager. It's available more or less on every, re every distribution out there. If you go to this web page that I can't go to right now because I don't have internet, uh, you can see a full list. There's like 15 different distributions. And it works like this. You just say task add and whatever you want, description of the task, and you get a task created. And then you do task list, and you can see the list of your tasks. Now, this is the third slide of my four slides that I had time to make. Um, so I don't really have more slides, but I can show you I can show you a demo, uh, I guess, uh, live, if this thing doesn't break again. So let's first do an alias to make sure that I don't, I don't know, demo my own data. All right, so we have, we have no tasks right now. Let's add, add something, and I had two ideas. First is the water the plants thing. So yeah, I need to water the plants. Let's see. I can just do task, and it shows me the only task that I have. But you know, watering the plants is something that I have to do, you know, not just once, but ideally multiple times in a week, every day. I don't know. I, I don't have any plans every day. <laughs> okay, l l let's say every day. So I have to now modify this task. I can do task one mod for modify, or you can type modify whatever. And let's say that okay, I have to do it today. So let's. Now, I, we can see that, OK, it was due today. When we say today to task order, we mean midnight. So you know, it's 20 hours past the due date. Let's say that I meant actually not today at midnight, but I don't know, 22 PM. I can say today plus 22 hours. Task order can do time, date time arithmetic on the command line. And if we run this thing now, we can see it's due in one hour. So I still have some time. <laughs> um, but you know, what if I have to do it every day? Like some of you seem to suggest that that's the case. I don't know. Um, so we can do recur daily, and if we run the task, um, we can see that yeah, this task just got created. What are the plans? And it's recurring every day. Um, if I was to change my you know time to future, or if it was tomorrow, there would be another task just like this. I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to mess, mess up my computer just for the sake of this presentation. Um, but you know, let's say, what are other things that I could do? I might want to speak at PyCon. I actually spoke there last year. Um, and in order to do that, I had to submit a proposal. So let's say I have to submit a proposal. But I mean, to do that, I have to first figure out you know, what I'm going to speak about. Now, I can't really submit the proposal before I figure out the topic, right? So I, you know, looking at this like this doesn't make any sense because I'm, I, you know, I have to first do the task number four to do task number three. So I might have to modify task number four and say it depends, well, no, task number three depends on task number four. And now, I messed up, I guess. It was supposed to be the other way around. Damn. OK, well, let's do it like this. 
Okay? So by setting it to empty space, I basically re re erased it. And I'm saying that 4 depends on 3. Now, now I have to first figure the topic. Let's say that I figure the topic. I mark this as done. Now suddenly the task number 3 is unlocked. So now I have to sub now I can submit because I, I know what I'm going to write about. And I mean, there's much more to task just, than just that, but I'm running out of time. Uh, in the interest of time, you know, there's a man page once you install this thing. And uh, the man page is very long. It co conveys all of the filters and, and projects and tagging and syncing and different like commands like calendar that you can see. And you can see all the tasks in the calendar. And you can see your burn down charts, like how many tasks have you accomplished throughout the, you know, the history of, of, of things. So really, there's a you know, very wide features, feature range. And I highly recommend you guys to look into it. So if any questions are there, and now is the time. I have two minutes, I guess. Why don't we research online to find it? Uh, just Google out Task Warrior or go to taskwarrior.org. Task Warrior. Yeah, yeah, that's the name, Task Warrior. Yes? Does it keep the, uh, the data in the uh, so data is stored in uh, in the plain text. I I created this very fancy directory, and uh, you can see there's four different data files, and those data files just look like this. It's basically a plain text file, which is kind of like key value on, on one task per line. It can't be really seen very well because I have very large font, but there's just one line per task. Yeah. And uh, Taskware parses this data, these, these data files using its own parser. Yes? I have a problem procrastinating. So is there like a command to give me an electric shock to actually um, <laughs> instead of spending four hours watching? Definitely. It? Definitely there's a, this, this thing called Pavlock. Uh, it's a startup. You can have a bracelet that basically zaps you. Cool now you need a mobile phone that basically is connected with Bluetooth to this thing. You can then you need to send a push notification oh, nice. to this to your phone to zap you. I actually have done that. I have done that. I have the thing. You need to do that. Yeah, yeah. So like, yes. If you want to, you know, torture yourself, definitely, you know, you can hack your way around that. I would have started with one of these invisible fence things for dogs. <laughs> I never heard about never heard about that. I'm happy to like learn more about this. Invisible fence? What's yeah. the, the, it's a dog collar that will shock dogs if they go beyond a border. That oh, you set out. okay, okay. Well, Seems pretty okay. similar. Yeah, they I, must mass produce those. Probably. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is a fringe topic of my interest. It's like the self, you know, hurting. It's not really like the main topic of my interest. So. Well, not, not really the expert on, on that. It's not the quantitative self, it's the punished self. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I guess if anything else, no? Well, that's it.